everybody, Tim Allard with Ontario to Doors. I want to talk drop shot rigs and some tricks for how you can save yourself from losing too many soft plastics over the course of the season. There are many ways to rig drop shots. When fish are fussy and they really need to be coaxed to bite, a light hook approach for a soft plastic is the way to go. Um, so for example, this is a finesse worm. It's one of my favorite drop shot baits and a lot of times I just rig this like that, just on the top of the hook. It really gives me a nice horizontal approach in the water and it's an awesome way to trigger fussy smallmouth or walleyes to bite. The downside is by lightly hooking a plastic, especially a real finesse presentation, it's more apt to fall off during the fight. So when I find that fish are more aggressive and they don't need as much coaxing, what I'll do is I'll change the way that I rig this bait, which would be threading it up the hook shank. It'll change the action a little bit, but if I'm getting bites as soon as I, a drop shot gets to bottom or fish are really hitting hard, it doesn't seem to matter. But what does matter is that because more of the plastic is rigged on the hook, this is less apt to fall off during the fight. Another option is to reserve your more expensive and more delicate soft plastics that you're going to need when fish are inactive and using more durable or robust plastics when fish are active and they don't require as much finessing. For instance, this is one that I really like for walleye. It's called a moxie. It's not a traditional drop shot bait, but I've been doing really well with it the last couple years. And the nose of this bait is really durable and I find rigging it either of the two ways that I just showed you, it'll stay on the hook quite well for walleye. So this is a great spring and fall presentation. Lunker Hunt's also got a pretty cool product. And what they've done is they've put a mylar strip in the nose of the bait. So when you rig that worm, um, what's gonna happen is you're rigging into soft plastic, but also mylar, and that's gonna give you a really good grip on that worm and hopefully save you some baits. So something that I'm looking forward to experimenting with this season. So remember, when you're up against an active fish, use those FNF soft plastics to coax bites but don't be afraid to experiment with threading more of the plastic on the hook shank to see if you can still tease bites without losing too many baits. And when you find a pod of really active fish that are quickly nailing your drop shot rig, try using more durable baits because you'll find that you'll lose less plastics in that instance as well. And not only is this gonna save you money, the key thing here is by re-rigging less, you're fishing more which means more fish in the net and a lot more fun. For Ontario to Doors, I'm Tim Allard. Thanks for watching.